Yo, what's up guys? Today I have a quest card for you on the quest Rag and Bone Man. This quest can be started by speaking to the odd old man in the limestone mine. So, some requirements you need are absolutely nothing. You need uh, 10 coins, 8 empty pots, but you actually only need 1. I brought 8 because I thought you needed 8. You actually need to bring 1, so remember that. Uh, 8 jugs of vinegar, a light source, 8 logs, a rope, a tinderbox. You also need lots of different bones, but you'll get those along the way. It's recommended to have RD teleport method, Camelot teleport method, Fally teleport method, Lumbridge teleport method, and a Varric teleport method. You do not need an axe, I just had it in my inventory. So as you can see, I'm using a black candle as my light source. So to start the quest, start, or to start the quest speak to the old man, and ask if there's anything you can do to help him with his current situation that he's in. Which is a quite odd one. Keep talking to him. This is just going to be a long little intro how he has this weird ass thing in his backpack too. There's apparently a baby in his back. I'm just kidding. Oh, what the fuck is that? Sorry. I was fishing and something just like came out of the water, scared the fuck out of me. Anyways, you need to go kill a bunch of different animals now and get some of their body parts, which is lovely. So the first place you want to teleport is Varok. You want to go get some gear at the Varok bank. And you don't need major gear, you just need to kill animals. So I'm just bringing my bear head, D-skin, my fighter torso. And my virginity. <laughs> My soul. I need to bring my soul. And basically, run your way south. There's going to be a bunch of animals in this area that you can kill. First one being the goblin down here. First off, kill the goblin. And make sure to pick up the bone that he drops, which is a goblin skull. I forgot to pick it up. Make sure you pick up the goblin skull. I just picked up the bones. Next, you want to run up a little north, just under the mine, and you're going to look for a bear. The bear is going to be in this area. You can see its bones are on the ground, but those aren't the ones you need to take. The bear is going to respawn. I had to switch worlds because this fucker was killing and taking my kills. So basically, kill the bear to get his item, or get his piece of bone. He's pretty easy to kill. Did some damage on me, though. I'll give the big ass some credit. Take his bare ribs. Get it? Bare. Okay, never mind. No jokes for you. <laughs> so now, kill a unicorn that you guys should see that is just right around the bear. Pick up the unicorn bone. Now run uh, west from where you killed the unicorn, just southwest of the mine. Run into here, into this little sheep pasture slash pen and kill a ram that is wandering around inside. It's you, you can't kill the sheep, you can only kill a ram, so it's gonna be pretty easy to find. So just kill the ram, and I believe you're gonna get a ram's skull as well. Lagged a bit here. There you go, ram's skull. Now run up to the Varak sewers just east of the castle, climb your way down the ladder, and kill a giant rat that is down here. The giant rat will drop a giant like rat bone that you need. There's a guy training down here, so I had to wait for a rat to spawn. And I was just like, oh dude, I'm totally gonna beat this guy. And I did. No big deal. Now you need a giant rat bone, so get that giant rat bone. Basically, you need to make your way to Lumbridge now, so teleport to Lumbridge, and then you need to make your way to the Lumbridge Swamp. So make your way south of Lumbridge, and then to the southwestern part of the Lumbridge Swamp. You need a rope to get down, if you're ever going to use a rope down there, or if you haven't already used a rope on the Lumbridge Swamp. 
and then you need your light source. Look out for the arm that basically tries to grab your skull and crush it. Make your way all the way west and then south to find the frogs. Don't attack the giant frogs, just attack the big frogs. The giant frogs are really high level, so you don't need to attack those. Kill a giant frog, or a big frog, Christ. And they're gonna drop a big frog a leg. I'm sure those would be delish. I also got some nice earthworms right there. Good stuff. Now teleport to Camelot, you need to go get some bat wings. So I'm going to show you quickly on the map where it is. Now, after my character, character stops, you know, masturbating. So basically, you are currently at uh, the Camelot Castle. Make your way straight south to Keep Le Fay. Keep Le Fay has bats outside of her keep. <laughs> so basically, run to the western part of her keep to find a bunch of bats flying outside and kill these bats to get the bones that you need for the quest. You cannot get these bones from other players if you were wondering. A bit late for that, but you know. And after a long battle with a terrifying bat, you will come out victorious after hitting many zeros and ones like I did. Which sort of sucked. Take the giant bat wing. Teleport to Artie. Make your way south. Go to this little guy here, Captain Brundy. Pay the fare. Make your way off the ship. Run south, and then you have to run east. So make your way towards Brimhaven, and look for the monkeys that are just chilling in Brimhaven. Kill one of the monkeys. This is the final animal you need to kill and get its monkey paw. You now have all of the animal bones that you need. Teleport. Over to Draenor. Sorry, I was looking at the guide. I was like, wait, what did I do here? <laughs> Basically, when you're in Draenor, you need to go buy some vinegar so go to the drainer bank and then go to this little marketplace right here look for fortunato talk to him ask him if you can buy some vinegar from him you're gonna see jugs of vinegar you're gonna buy eight they're pretty cheap as well so no worry you actually can buy jugs of wine here as well which heal a lot of HP, but it's only one GP there, so that's a little tip you guys uh, might have to give Ronan for his tip video. Anyways, make sure you have eight jugs of vinegar, and you make sure you have one pot with you. And make sure you have eight logs with you. Any log will do. <clears throat> I accidentally teleported twice to Varric here, because I'm a pro. I just chopped eight logs on my way to the Rag and Bone Man's house. So basically what you need is a tinderbox, a pot, eight logs, and all of the animal skulls, or animal bones that you picked up for the last, what was it, five minutes. Once you have all of that, you need to make your way back to the Rag and Bone Man's little area. Use a log on the pot boiler. I messed this part up, but basically just use a pot, or use a log on the pot boiler. And then what you need to do is use a jug of vinegar on your pot. Use a pot of vinegar on one of your bones. Don't follow what I'm doing in the guide, follow my voice. Use a pot of vinegar on the bones. <laughs> so in this case I'm using a monkey paw. Then use your pot full of bones on the pot boiler. And then use your tinder box on the pot boiler. So I'll repeat that one more time. Tinderbox in the pot boiler, vinegar in the pot, bone in the pot, pot in the pot boiler, tinderbox, the whole thing. And eventually, after a while, you can remove the bone and it's going to be nice and clean. You now need to complete, repeat this process for all eight bones. Once you have done that for all eight bones, you will have all the bones for the guy. And that'll be quest complete. 
So, any questions, make sure to post below. Pretty easy quest, just long and annoying, as are most quests on this game. <laughs> That's it, buddy, guys. I just fucked up that outro. That's about it, guys. Peace.